this is the unboxing of a Skywatcher DS Pro 120 upper chromatic refractor tel telescope. Uh, these are becoming rare now due to the coronavirus and the crisis in the transport and China being almost, you know, in the situation of shutdown. Importers are not able to satisfy the needs of the market. So we are in a situation that there is not a supply as much as it used to be. There is yet demand because people are in their homes. They want to buy something. And there are long queues for upper chromatic telescopes now. Long waiting lists for suppliers in Britain at least as, of, as far as I know. So finding second hand is a good thing if you can find it. I was lucky. I found the upper chromatic. Let's unbox it and see. Okay, let's see what is inside. Okay. Uh, the box is a large aluminium box, more than one meter wide. It has a sturdy handle you can carry easily. Four latches, as you can see. All of them have uh, locks, so you can lock them. I hope there is a key inside. Oh, look at it. Fully foamed, hacked. This is the actual telescope. Lovely, strong. Uh, dovetail. This is the telescope. This is the yeah finder scope. Complete With all the things. Just let me see. How is the lens? Yeah, lens is looking all right. So far, so good. It has a star diagonal. I was sprayed on it, so it's dirty. I have to clean it. It's clean because there's no cap on it. Uh, one twenty eight millimeter eyepiece. The bottom part of it is missing. I have to get that. What is this? Oh, reduce a corrector E for ED 120. That's the sky what you want. 200 pounds, that's it. Nice on. Yeah, four keys. And the main part is this telescope itself. It has a dual speed Crayford focuser tube rings and the cap let me just remove the cap have a look to the mirror to the lens fully darkened uh, minimal cleaning probably it needs but usually you can just use it as it is and it has according to this has a famous shot glass so uh, contains shot optical glass the quality that's the reason it is a doublet of course one uh, shot glass the other one which is the outer glass is a different uh, glass both of them work as a upper chromatic so this is practically an upper chromatic and because the focal lens is 900 millimeter, this can be easily used for a, as a planetary telescope. At the same time, with the reducer, you can make it to, uh, I think, 6.37 f ratio. So you can use it for astrophotography. That field flattener uh, reducer gives you a good field of the uh, flat field of view for astrophotography. Because when you're watching, when you're observing, the image that falls on your uh, retina in the eye is a, as in a curve, curved surface of your eyeball. But the CCD chip of a camera or film, if you are using all this stuff, is a flat surface. So you need to actually make the field of view flat and you do this by this. Otherwise you end up with the stars which are not really perfectly shaped. So we just take the telescope out, have a look, 
Skywatcher. Beautiful shot glass. DS Pro. Everything as far as I can see is all right. This is a shoe. Um, shoe holder for the finder. And this is really good quality. Uh, Vixen dovetail. That's the auto focus. That's the dual speed focuser, as you can see. Yeah, I'm happy that I got this. And this is called Di Black Diamond. Black is black, but at the same time it has glitter. So beautiful, lovely telescope. Apochromatic, and we'll be using it for planetary observations and even astrophotography with that field flattener. You can use it for that. So, all in all, this is ready for astrophotography. I have to find the attachment for here so we can actually attach the diagonal to it. Mm. And uh, there is also missing there. So, anyway, uh, that's be something solved the sky watcher and yeah will be used yeah I will just test it in the daylight at the moment uh, I have to get the attachments for this okay this is the sky watcher DS Pro uh, apochromatic uh, telescope is a doublet and uh, the diameter of the objective is 120 millimeters so around 5 inch and focal length is 900 millimeter that means the f ratio is 7.5 7 uh, it's quite large but manageable yet let me just show what I'm looking at uh, we are looking at the, this tree with some footlets. This is the lens, as much as I can show. I've attached the attachment, necessary attachment to change it from astrophotography setting to visual setting. This is the attachment, and this is the star diagonal. I cleaned it, and this is the max vision 28 millimeter 60. Eight degrees field of view IPS. And let's see how it looks. So that was the view to the uh, telescope. Uh, the blue patch you could see was because of the lens of the camera, the whole way camera mixed with this lens at the corner you could see something. But when you visually observe there is no effect, no blue color or, or anything. So I'm really delighted with this telescope. It's a real upper comet. For the price is a is a bargain. Cannot be cheaper than this, especially with the dual speed focuser. And all the accessories which comes with it. Now we were looking at those footsteps. Twelve to fifteen meter away. 